Hey guys, what's up? It's AJ. This video is on a GIMP tutorial on how to make a YouTube background with new beta channels. Uh, I'm not really that good with GIMP, but bear with me. I assure you it will come out at least looking at least a little bit suitable. Now I'll put the link in the description for the download for this black theme that I made. It's just a blank template that's black and I prefer a black background. But here we go. So you just want to click edit with GIMP. Uh, I'll put the link for the description for the download for GIMP 2.6 in the description. Now, this is going to be a pretty simple background, but okay. First off, what you want to do is decide what images you want to use in your background. For me, myself, I'm going to be using this cool window start menu that I've uh, found on the internet. After you uh, bring it in, if it has any text that you do not want, you just have to go over to eraser, erase the text. And after you're done erasing it, uh, you want to move on to the move tool, which is a little arrow thing. And what I figured out is that you're going to have enough room if you fit it in between uh, three notches down to the 250 mark. So you want about right there. All right, now that we have that, you can either choose to make a double of the image over here or not if you want to. Go crazy and make it looking cool. But I'll add one more in. All right, and then you got the eraser again. Uh, I'm going to change the eraser brush to bigger. All right, now after you're done with that, you're gonna wanna move the image again. So I'll just move it back over here. And it's gonna be kind of hard to mirror it, but the best thing you can do is just come over here to where the arrow is, find the tip of the image, and just make sure that it lines up like that. As you can see, it lines up pretty well. Let's put it right there. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, next you're gonna to wanna to put the text that you want in it. For me and myself, I'm just gonna put, I've already made my own background, but I'll just put like, uh, AJ Wendell's, YouTube and page all right so after you're done with that you can just change the color I'm gonna do a light blue right here so click OK now then you're gonna to want to space it out and make it a little bit bigger space that out then change the size all right made that a little bit too big there we go now you can change the font wherever you want to I really prefer the smudger I don't know why I like it but it just looks pretty cool to me so we will be changing it to smudger okay let's find it found it all right so we'll change it to smudger and then we'll make it a little bit bigger all right so enough with that then on the other side you're gonna want to put another thing like uh what you do or whatever so i'll just put like oh yuck i will put tech reviews Everywhere. And if you want to, you can put whatever you want to, but I'll just put subscribe. All right, move that over a little bit. Now that you're done with that, you're going to be wanting it over here. It's about at the 125 mark. And you'll be wanting it about the largest I think you can go is about six little notches down. Okay, so now after that, you're going to want to change the color again. I'll change it back to blue. All right, one second. I'm playing music while I'm doing this, but okay. So now that we're done with that, let's make it a little bit bigger. And then there you go. You're pretty much gonna have the black, the blank template. You're gonna be able to. You want to make it whatever you want it to be. Go for it, but just make sure you know the size of the images and everything. But after that, you're gonna be wanting to save it. So go to save as. And I already have black JPG, so I'll just do. Um, great now the name of it may show up as uh, the name of it may show up as either like a uh, docx or something but you're gonna switch to jpg go to export and for the quality if you go to 100 percent it'll be higher than 250k and that's too big for the youtube background so you're gonna want to bring it down to about 80 or 85 but i just bring it down to 80 go to save it saves and then we click on it and there's your YouTube background. Now, after you're done with that, you're gonna wanna go onto the internet. So, whoa, where's Wiseo Browser? Found you. Okay, now after you're on the Wiseo Browser, you're going to, uh, you're gonna wanna, crap, I have to sign in. Okay. All right, so, we sign in. You go over to your account. 
And after you're at your account, uh, you go to themes, colors, show advanced options. After advanced options, you click browse, and you'll find what you have. Where are you? I said great, right? Yep, so there it is. Click on great. And as you can see, I know my didn't come out that well because I messed up a little bit right here. But you get the idea of it, and you can add the image. You have a lot of clearance right here. You have about a good inch and a half about. So yeah, that's how you make a quick YouTube background for the beta page. I know it's not that good, but I'm just beginning to go into Photoshop area. But yeah, that's how you make a GIMP background. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions or anything, message me, comment on the video, follow me on Twitter if you want to. I'll see you guys later. Hope you have a good day, and uh, hope you come back to my videos.